right, I have a few H8 model TID radios here in the shack with me. It's been a long road, but let me tell you, I'm not gonna make a long video telling you all about this radio because I've had plenty of friends across the YouTube that has made good videos. As you can see, there's plenty of information out there on these radios. So I'm going to tell you some things that I like about this radio and TID Radio as a company. I'm going to start out with saying with this radio, one of the first things that I liked about it is just the way it feels when you got it in your hand. It's just a good size to me. You got a, a good grip. It's not too small. It's not big antique brick, you know. So it's got a good feel to it. I like that. I don't have the belt clip on this one, but I also like that the belt clip attaches to the radio itself and not the battery. Because if you had multiple batteries, then you'd have to have multiple belt clips and you know how that goes. So if you just want to switch out the battery, belt clip's already there on the radio itself. Nothing to worry about. Of course, it uses the standard K plug. Something else you'll find that many of us like and approve of is USB-C charging right there with the charging light. And that is on the battery itself. So you can take that off, hook a USB-C cable up to it. And of course it does have the drop-in charger available as well. Let's talk about the different versions of this radio. When TID Radio first contacted me some time ago, the first version was this one and same thing i liked it the body the cosmetics have not changed but i want you to notice when you boot this one up you get tid radio and that's another thing i like about it it's got a good looking screen on it it's got a lot of information there it's got your channel names and the frequency it's got some options you can change that up just a little now let's skip all the way to the latest version which is this one when you turn it on you get a different boot screen so if you're looking at or have already purchased a H8 model, there's a few things to look for to make sure you're getting a good model. You turn the radio on and you go to menu, hit the down button once, and you should see firmware version. Now on my very first version that they gave me, you cannot see the firmware from the menu. But on this latest version, you see we got ham-23 0323, nope, 0823. So that's the latest version that they sent to me. If I can go and let's see, got this one. This one was received in August. This was after receiving a fix for a noise. So we go to menu and down, and we got ham underscore 230317. So of course that's March 17th of 2023. Not hard to decode that. This is a this is a good one as well. So I've got really all three of these are good. The reason they pulled this first one that they sent me a while back off is because, well, we see fake ID. So they did not have the FCC approval on this radio and they had the number on it and had already started selling it. So they had to pull it back off the market and guess what? They left it off the market until they got that FCC ID approved and now it's good, but we're not done yet. Some of the guys started doing some testing on how clean the transmit was on the radios and oh boy, they was not good and they were out of compliance for the FCC regulations in the US. So they were still not legal to be used in the United States under the FCC regulations. So that's where this latest version come in. And let me tell you, Hayden Ham Radio DX, the smoking ape, they put this thing through the ringer and done some of their testing and the baby's clean now. And the smoking ape was like, yeah, I bet they probably reduced the output power to try to clean it up. And guess what? They didn't. So you got a clean 10 watt radio VHF, UHF, and they also have it in a, a GMRS version if you would like to go that route. So we've got a good radio that no longer makes a bunch of weird noise when you key up and is clean and has the FCC ID. 
I'm saying all this to tell you that TID Radio has made a huge effort for a whole of you ham radio folks and GMRS guys, but they have constantly listened to what is wrong and what needs to be fixed, and they have sent more for testing and review, and this is what we come up with. We ended up with a nice, clean radio. So I want to give a big thanks to TID Radio for listening to the users and to the reviewers to get this thing in compliance and have a good radio. Another really nice feature about this TID Radio H8 is that it has Bluetooth programming. You don't need a cable. All you need is your phone and an app, and you can program this radio wherever you're at. You can also monitor both VFOs simultaneously, not at the same time, but it'll listen to two different frequencies or bands, whichever one you have it on, and whichever one it picks up something first, that's what you'll hear. So it'll monitor those two. All right, let's do a little bit of audio testing. I'm gonna transmit into the 705 and you're gonna hear that audio directly in this recording. And uh, I'm gonna mute this microphone and I'm gonna show you the first radio they sent me to test out. My complaint was the mic element inside the radio was a very low audio uh, to, to the point that the other person on the other end couldn't really hear very well unless I talked at a pretty loud tone. And they tried to make some corrections. My solution was you plugged in a shoulder mic, a little hand mic, and it worked great. It was loud and crisp, but the internal mic element was not that good. And then I'm gonna go to the latest version and let you hear the internal mic. And I believe they've made some improvements on that. But let's see what this thing sounds like. All right, this is K5YVY. This is the first version that they sent that they had to recall because of the FCC ID issue. But this is the sound from the mic element transmitting directly into the 705 as you hear it being received on another radio. And this is the bad transmit audio which sometimes takes a minute to kick in. It may sound okay at first, but if I unkey, key back up, on the TV or the antenna, that sound transmits over there. And this is K5YVY. Lastly, on the most modern latest version of the H8. I believe the audio sounds a little bit crisper and a little bit better audio level than the first version, which I will key up on and let you hear that again. K5YVY on the first version. Audio on the latest version. Audio latest version. Audio on the first version. K5YVY. K5YVY. All right, so there's you some audio testing, and I believe you can tell a little difference. I got a little sensitive ears, I think. Sometimes I pick up on stuff that others may not, but uh, that's something that I noticed. Go check out the H8 if you're looking for a, a nice, clean, FCC ID approved TID Radio H8 VHF, UHF, and GMRS version. They also just come out with a crystal version of the H8. So you can get that fancy retro see-through. All right, there's a video over here. If you want to check it out, I appreciate it, 73.